Today we have this fancy fire attack. It is actually quite simple to make. It just uses some trails, which are one of the most simple and flexible tools to make nice effects. We take this fireball sprite and just set its position to your global mouse position every frame. For the trail we add a child that is aligned to D. We can already play around with this and draw a little curve. We use set as top level to make it independent from the parent. Every frame we add the parent's global position to the line. When we have too many points, we just remove the first one. The length can be this nice little export bar. Let us style the line now. We give it a little width curve, so it looks a bit more intricate. We give it a gradient. We can start and end with transparency to prevent any harsh edges. Then we can go from yellow to red to give it a fiery look. We can blend the whole thing additively if we want it to feel a bit ethereal. Pro tip, put the modulate over one and add a glow. Next comes the trick. Add a node to D in between the trail and the root node. Also add a looping auto start animation to rotate the fireball. And let's just take another one of these. The trails now follow the superposition of the projectile movement and the rotation. Let us know if you like this video. What effects would you like to see next?